what's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. We recently added some new classes on the fundamentals and it had me thinking about some of the mistakes I see people make when they're teaching new shooters. So let's get started. The most important things you need to teach do shooters is number one, gun safety. And number two is dry fire practice. You see it happen all the time. You, maybe this person knows a little bit about shooting. They've been shooting a while. They got the fundamentals down. And then they want to teach their girlfriend, their daughter, their wife, their best friend. Somebody wants to, they want to learn about shooting and they take them to this loud, noisy environment. And they try to talk to them with all these guns going off around them and it turns out to be a horrible experience. So the first thing you should do is take them home or take them somewhere where it's quiet. You can sit down and talk about how a gun actually works. You're gonna do some dry fire practice. You're gonna show them how to actually load a magazine with the snap caps, show them how to load that magazine into the gun and do lots and lots of dry fire practice. So that when you get to the range, you're not trying to talk and explain things over all this loud noise and all this stress around you. Another important thing is remembering it needs to be a fun experience. All of a sudden, if it becomes stressful, people are gonna start shutting down, they're not gonna learn, so make it fun. I always say, like, especially if it's a couple, I'm like, make a date net out of it. Make it a fun experience so that they like it and they wanna come back and do it again. A lot of people, their, their big goal in it is they wanna teach people to shoot bullseyes which is just crazy. The best thing to do is to go and have a great experience because you're not gonna teach people like 25 things in one single little session. You just want them to walk away and have a good experience, understand gun safety, and wanna come back and learn more. So focus on just a few of the fundamentals. Don't try to fix everything. Oh, your stance is wrong, your grip's wrong, this is, this is. Try to just focus on a few important things at a time and also leave on a high note. If you paid for two hours of range time and it's been 30 minutes and you can tell they're starting to fatigue, leave on a high note. So who cares? Just leave. Don't try to stay there and make it some long extended lesson. Leave on a high note. Another point is don't do everything for them. Let them do it themselves. They need to learn. I can't tell you how many times we've had people come, especially to our like newer fundamentals class. They're like, oh yeah, they know how to shoot. They've been doing it. They've done it a few times. They're fine. And then it's their turn to get up to the line and they're like, uh, what do I do? Because they've had someone load their magazine for them. They've even had someone rack the gun for them. They need to know how to do that. So let them do it on their own. And they're playing little tricks and tips. And we even have videos on how to load a magazine, how to rack the slide, because you can do it. They can do it. Let them do it on their own. And the last point, I know you guys are not going to like this one, but there's a lot of people who've only taken a CCW class or they've been shooting since they were a kid. And they go and they teach these people bad habits. That's the worst thing you can do because now they have to unlearn all those bad habits and learn it the right way. The easiest students we have are actually the ones who have never picked up a gun because they have no bad habits. So they're, they're learning fresh, clean slate. So make sure you're competent before you go take people out. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like, share, comment. I always love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, follow us here on YouTube. Click the bell so you get notified when we put videos out. You can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.